The highlighter was a great gift because as I went through college and then continued on into the seminary, as you read different things and there were things that you wanted to remember, you highlighted those things. So you could go back later and look at what you had highlighted, begin to look at certain words or phrases that seemed to help you to understand better the material that was at hand. I say that because I think that the election of Pope Francis is like a human highlighter. Pope Francis reminds us of things, things that we already know, but he helps us to look at them again in a different way. He highlights certain things for us. All of us are fascinated by Pope Francis. Everyone speaks about him, whether Catholic or not. They speak about his simplicity of life. They speak about his advocating for the poor. They speak about his thirst for justice. They speak about his thirst for peace in the world. We're reminded by his words and actions that these are the causes that Jesus also preached and taught the people about. As we come to Mary's shrine today, it seems to me that we might also ask ourselves, what is it that our Holy Father highlights for us about Mary? What does he remind us about as we come to this beautiful church dedicated to Mary? In the late 1980s, when Pope Francis was not Pope yet, he was going through some difficult times in his own life, and he traveled to Germany, and he traveled to Bavaria, southern Germany, and he found himself one day celebrating Mass in a church called St. Peter's in Augsburg, Germany. And as he looked up above the altar was a beautiful painting. The painting had been done in the year 1700. The painting was by a German painter, Johann Schmittner. And as the Pope looked at this painting, it spoke to him more and more. It touched something in his heart that he shares with all of us. The painting is called Mary, the undoer or untire of knots. And when you look at the painting, the central figure in the painting is Mary. And on either side of Mary are two angels. One angel has his face on Mary. And as he's looking at Mary, he's handing a part of a long ribbon. But as you look at that ribbon, you see that it's all knotted up. On the other side, the angel is looking out and he's looking at the people who are looking at the painting. And his part of the ribbon is all smooth, so the knots have been taken out. And as you look closer at Mary's hands, you see that she is the one who is undoing these knots. It spoke to our Holy Father so that when he returned back to his home country of Argentina, he began to spread this devotion to Our Lady under the title of Mary, the undoer, the untire of knots. It seems to me it speaks to uh, what we do here when we come to Mary's shrine. We bring those knots, those things that are troubling us, those things that are burdens to us. We bring them here and we place them in Mary's hands. Maybe we worry about a son or daughter who is sick, a son or daughter who has turned away from the faith. Mary, maybe we worry about the loneliness that we feel deep in our heart at times. Maybe we worry about financial difficulties that beset us. Maybe we worry about the addictions that people around us have, maybe someone in our own family. Maybe we worry about peace in our world as we turn our televisions on day after day and see more and more violence in the world. There are so many knots all around us, knots in the world, knots in our own individual lives, knots in the lives of those we love. And so it is that we turn to Mary and we ask her 
to help us. Why do we do that? We do that because, as our Holy Father reminds us, we have a deep confidence in Mary. Notice when we said the Novena prayers together this morning, when we said the Memorari, those words that we speak, remember, O most compassionate Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your assistance, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Mary, our mother, Mary, the untire, the undoer of knots, is that loving mother who is deeply interested in each of us, who cares deeply for, for each of us, who takes those knots and helps us to untangle them so that we can be freed. Because when we're knotted up, we don't have peace, we don't have serenity in our life. And Mary wants us to have that peace and that serenity. This devotion to Our Lady, the undoer, the untire of knots, goes back deep, deep in history. Goes back almost to the second century when a great theologian, Saint Irenaeus, spoke about the sin of our first parents, Adam and Eve, and how that sin knotted the relationship between people and God, and how Jesus unties that knot, unties that knot for us, and frees our relationship with God, our relationship with other people. And he does that through the intercession of Mary, Mary who assists us in untying those knots. And so part of receiving those graces comes from the sacrament of reconciliation, where we are able to honestly look into our hearts to recognize those knots that are there, the, the knots of anger, those knots of, of holding on to grudges, those knots the, of unforgiveness, those knots of untruth that sometimes get into our hearts, into those deep recesses of our heart. And when we're able to be honest with ourselves and honest with, with God, through Mary's help, we're able to let go of so much of that and to slowly untangle those knots in our heart that we might be freed to, to recognize how Mary is leading us to a different way of life. Mary who is always pointing to her son Jesus and reminding us to do whatever he tells us. And so today as we come to this beautiful shrine to once again place before Mary those knots that we struggle with, we might also ask her to help us to look deep into our own hearts to recognize where those knots may, may come from and where we need, with God's help, to receive mercy and reconciliation through his beautiful sacraments, that one day, with Mary's help, we might once again have that peace and serenity in our hearts, that peace and serenity that allows us to follow the Lord Jesus, who's constantly inviting us to come and receive his mercy and love.